Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you 90 degree stubs on EMT bending. Now, this stub right here is a 12 inch stub, and uh, this is part of a, a bend called back to back 90s. Okay, I have an earlier video on that. So, this is a 12 inch stub, and you make it using the arrow on your bender and you would actually put the, the arrow at a, at a mark seven inches from the end of the conduit. Then you, you bend it and you wind up with a 12 inch stub. So that's using the arrow. Now over here, I use the star of the bender and it makes a very nice 90 degree, 90 degree band, you see. This is a nice 90 degree band using the arrow and here's a nice 90 degree band using the star. But what I did is I just let it go long and then I cut it at 24 inches. See this is a 24 inch stub but I wasn't able to get it to end right here at the designated length. So I'm going to show you how to use the star and get it to end uh, right at the length you want, say 24 inches. So I'm going to show you how to do both, using the arrow and using the star. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to calculate gain. Gain is where you make a nice 90 degree bend like this, the conduit doesn't come all the way over and then up, it actually gains some length due to the bend. So I'm going to show you how to calculate gain for your bender. I made all of these concentric bands using the star. I didn't use the arrow at all to make these bands, but I cut them up here. So this is a slightly different band. It's not really what I'm discussing for this video because I had to cut these to length each time. I'm going to show you a method using the star where your conduits will come out to the exact height that you need them to. To explore this more in depth, I'm going to be making a 24 inch stub on the arrow and a 24 inch stub on the star and we'll see if they come out the same and also I'm going to be using my DeWalt green cross line laser so that we can uh, test out these bends and make sure they're the same or if they're different we'll be able to discern the differences because we're being accurate you see I have this exactly two inches on center from the middle of this conduit Here's the laser line, and down here as well, it's two inches on center. Here I have two 60 inch EMTs. They're exactly 60 inches. And on one of them, I have a star symbols marked on both ends. And I've made a, a line at 24 inches because when you make a 24 inch stub, with the star, you make the mark exactly where you want it. So we want it at 24, so I put the mark at 24 inches. And then on this conduit, I have arrows marked on both ends of the conduit, and I've made a line at 19 inches. Now this is half inch conduit, we'll be, we'll be using a half inch conduit bender, so you need to subtract off five inches to make a 24 inch stub. So this is at 19 inches. First, we're going to make a 24 inch stub on the arrow. So I have the arrow right at my mark at 19 inches. So we're going to put it down on the ground, leaving lots of pressure on it so it doesn't move. All right, so I'm going to put my back foot on the conduit and I'm going to bend this to 90 degrees. I'm going to check it, make sure it came out right to 90, and it did. That's exactly 90. I can line up this conduit right on the green laser line and tighten down the one hole strap. Here's our bend that we made on the arrow. You see it came up just short of a 24 inch stub. We're about a sixteenth of an inch short. And we're nice and plumb. You see the the green laser line right dead center in the middle of the conduit 
and then we come down here and you can see the green laser line showing that it's level and then we come over here and this is 36 inches right here so we have 24 inch stub 36 inches to here that should make 60 inches but we have gain because of the 90 degree bend so on the arrow this is two and a quarter inches exactly right here on the arrow we have two and a quarter inches gain on center now if we measure from here or if we measure from here we get different figures this two and a quarter inch gain is from measuring from the center of the conduit which we call on center and then we need to remember to subtract off the 1 16th of an inch that were short at the top so the actual gain is going to be 2 and 3 16 of an inch for my bender that's valuable information because you can use this figure in laying out your conduit and it can save you time now we're going to bend a 24 inch stub on the star see i have the star right on the line right there i have this one marked with the star on both ends and notice the hook of the bender goes the opposite direction this time and go ahead and bend the conduit about like that i'm checking here for square for the conduit and you notice two things one it is square and the other like the other one is just a little shy of 24 inches so here's the stub bent on the star and here's the stub bent on the arrow and let's put them up against each other and it comes out just about the same as, as far as the height of the stub is just about a sixteenth of an inch short and the stubs come out to just about the same length and they have the same gain and I'm actually going to uh, write this figure on the handle of my bender and I'll be able to use that information later on in making bends involving 90 degree stubs. I hope that's helpful in showing you two ways to make 90 degree stubs. Using the star can be really quick because you put the mark right where you want to make the bend. So it may be advantageous for you. And I'll put links in my video description for this DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver. It's really cool. It's not as powerful as the 20 volt max, but it's quick and it's light, which is a nice advantage. I'll put a link for the new uh, Klein tape measure with conduit bending tables right on the back of it. It's so handy. And this is a brand new product from Dual. I'll put a link for this. And this is a six amp hour charger. The old ones are four amp hour. So this one's gonna be uh, quicker in charging up your batteries, a six amp hour charger. And I'll put a link for the brand new Klein laser bubble level. You just press this button to turn on and off the laser and you can make uh, level lines with this, uh, but it's not self-leveling, but it's uh, much cheaper than my nice cross-line laser level, which I'll also put a link for. I'll put a link for the DeWalt five-spot cross-line green laser level. It's a gem. It's a beauty to work with. And last but not least, I'll put a link for the brand new Milwaukee three and a quarter inch mouth bandsaw. It's lightweight, it's quick, it cuts great. Thank you very much.